But yeah, thank God for fantasy football. I'm Buster Brown, and the show is called Redemption Rehab. And if you tuned in today, it's for one reason. It's to start winning championships in fantasy football. Here we are on our website, fantasyfootballredemptionrehab.com. When you get a chance, check it out. Today, we're talking about our waiver wire report. We spent all year showing you who to draft, when to draft them, so you can win a championship in fantasy football. But it doesn't end with just our draft. We have to start picking up players during the season to help you win a championship in 2020. We've got some great picks for you today at all position players. Whether it's quarterback, running back, wide receiver, or tight end, we found some sleepers that are going to help you win a trophy in 2020. So buckle up, get out your popcorn, and let's head over to the chalkboard and check out the facts. Okay, here we are talking about our week four waiver wire report. This week, we're going to shake things up a little bit. Normally, we start out giving you running backs, but this week, we're going to start out giving you some quick hitters at quarterback. There's a couple quarterbacks out there you should consider putting on your bench, starting out there in San Francisco. Quarterback for San Francisco has been hurt. He's got a high ankle sprain, and the guy they brought in, his name is Nick Mullins. Uh, Against the Jets last week, he threw for 343 yards. Uh, He was 25 of 36, and he scored a touchdown. That's pretty good. So if you need a quarterback for the next couple weeks while Garofalo's out, you might want to consider Nick Mullins of the San Francisco 49ers. Another quarterback you might want to consider this week is the Chicago Bears quarterback. After Mitch Strabisky had a bad first half through an interception, they took him out and they put in Nick Foles. Nick Foles came out, threw for 188 yards and three touchdowns to bring the Bears back in a come-from-behind victory down in Atlanta. I like both those quarterbacks. If you need a kicker, we've been telling you about Joey Sly for the last three weeks. This guy kicked five of five field goals, scored 20 points for the Carolina Panthers. We've been telling you to put him in your lineup for the last couple weeks. And another kicker that you can find on your waiver wire is Steven Guskowski. He used to kick for the New England Patriots. He was 6 of 6. He scored 20 points in fantasy football. And I'd put him on your bench or in your lineup this week too. If you need a defense, we've got a couple defenses. Last week we told you about the Colts and they went out and they crushed the Jets. Well, if you can get a chance this week to pick up the Los Angeles Rams, they play in California against the New York Giants. I would do it. I think that's going to be a tough game for the Giants. And I would probably consider picking up the Denver Broncos against the New York Jets. Both New York teams are banged up. When we come back, we're going to talk about running backs for week four of the NFL. Okay, here we are looking at some running back for week four of the NFL season on your waiver wire. I'm pretty sure you're going to find this guy. He had a big day for the New England Patriots, and his name is Rex Burkhead. Rex Burkhead had six carries for 49 yards and two touchdowns. And as you can see here, he also caught catches the ball out of the backfield. He had seven catches for 49 yards and another touchdown on 10 targets. Look, that's a monster day. That's a 30-point day for Rex Burkhead. But the problem is he's done this in the past, and then he doesn't do it again until later in the year because he plays for the New England Patriots. They usually have a ton of running backs, and it's tough to figure out which one to play. If you can see here, Sony Michelle also had a 100-yard game, and he caught a ball or two. And they also have other running backs. James White didn't play because of his parents passed away uh, in a car accident, so he had to go deal with that. And they're also getting back Damian Harris next week. He's been on IR with a broken finger. He just had surgery on. So this is a crowded backfield, but if this guy's on your waiver wire and you can pick him up cheap, go get him if you're in a pinch. Let's take a look at some other running backs, like this guy over here. We didn't mention him last week, and we should have. His name was Jeff Wilson. He's filling in for a banged up San Francisco backfield. As you can see right here, we mentioned Jarek McKinnon, but he had 14 carries for 38 yards and a TD. He also caught three catches for 39 yards on four targets. 
We should have told you about Jeff Wilson. We thought about it after the show was over, but he had 12 carries for 15 yards. He did manage a touchdown, but this is what he does. He had three catches down here for 54 yards and a touchdown. But some guys we did mention are these guys over here who did nothing. Devontae Freeman got picked up by the Giants last week. Look, the kid can play football, but it's gonna be a while before he starts to produce, so give him a couple weeks. Wayne Gallman and Deion Lewis, Hey, look, man, if you can throw them on your bench, might be able to help you later in the year, but I wouldn't count on it because their offensive line's banged up. Some other guys we mentioned last week were Brian Hill, who he had a touchdown. You should have picked him up. And Mike Davis of the Carolina Panthers. He had a touchdown also. Let's take a look at a deep sleeper we like down in Pittsburgh for the rest of the season. Okay, we got a deep sleeper for you. If you got room on your bench, maybe you're really hurt at running back. This guy may be someone you can put on your bench for later in the season. And it's this guy, Anthony McFarland Jr. He had six carries for 42 yards with a long of 20 yards. And as you can see down here, he did have one catch for seven yards on two targets. Look, if you got James Conner, maybe you put Benny Hell Schnell Jr. on your bench. This guy can play, man. I, I, I drafted him on some teams, and he's sitting on my bench. And I'm just waiting to get him in there. But if you want a deep sleeper, it's this guy, Anthony McFarland Jr. When we come back, we're going to take a peek at some great wide receivers we told you about last week and some other wide receivers we like for this week. Okay, here we are looking at some wide receivers to pick up on the waiver wire for week four. We did a video earlier this year, Sleeper's a wide receiver, and we told you about this guy, Greg Ward of the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, when Dallas Goddard got hurt, this guy picked up the slack. He had eight catches for 72 yards and a touchdown on 11 targets. When a player goes down, somebody has to pick up the slack, and it was Greg Ward. I'd get him on your lineup because he looks like a player. We told you about him in our sleeper picks at wide receiver, and you should have drafted him. I'll tell you what, we also did a video on rookies at wide receiver, and we included this guy. Over here for the Cincinnati Bengals was T. Higgins. T. Higgins had five catches for 40 yards and two touchdowns on nine targets. Look, there's a lot of good players in Cincinnati on offense, but Joe Burrows really likes this guy. I wouldn't even be surprised if they traded somebody off this lineup so they get T. Higgins in the game. If you get a chance, get this rookie on your team and put him in your lineup. Let me give you some other rookies you should look at for next week off the waiver wire. Okay, last week on the week three waiver wire report, we told you about San Francisco's rookie, Brandon Ayuk. This kid had a good day. When you get a chance, check out that box score. But he's not as good as this rookie, and it's Justin Jefferson of the Minnesota Vikings. He had seven catches for 175 yards and a touchdown on nine targets. That's a huge day, and they love him in Minnesota. If you get a chance, you may want to put this guy on your bench. He took over for Stefan Diggs. He finally got his feet wet and against a good Tennessee defense, and he made him pay. So when you get a chance, go get him on your waiver wire for week four. Let's take a look at some other wide receivers that had a good week in week three of the NFL. Okay, last week we told you about a sleeper we liked and Braxton Berrios of the New York Jets. He went out and had another good game. It was four catches for 64 yards and a touchdown. When you get a chance, you might want to consider adding him to your lineup. And this guy, his name is Cedric Wilson of the Dallas Cowboys. He had five catches for 170 yards, two touchdowns on seven targets. I know Dallas has a great team. They've got good tight end and Schultz who, who seems to do well uh, you got three other good receivers and Gallup Cooper and CD Lamb all those guys are great players and not to mention uh, Ezekiel Elliott so where's this guy gonna fit in I uh, fit in in Seattle I mean five catches for 107 yards and two touchdowns gotta put him on your bench someone else will who might come back to kill you if uh, one of these guys gets hurt especially Mari Cooper or something like that this guy who they're gonna put in there so you might want to consider putting Cedric Wilson on your bench for later use let me give you a couple more wide receivers to take a look at for week four of the waiver wire okay last week we told you about Cole Beasley for the Buffalo Bills he only went out and had six catches for 100 yards for the Buffalo Bills this week. You should have went out and got him if you could have. And another veteran wide receiver we like is this guy, 
Dontrell Inman. He had three catches for 38 yards and two touchdowns on six targets. Look, they got to throw the ball to somebody in Washington, and Terry McLaurin's not the only player. It's probably going to be this guy. He's a veteran. He's been with teams for years. Last year, he played for like the Colts and the years before that. He's a longtime player for the Chargers. He might be worth a stash on your bench. What if he turns into be a good player for the Washington football team? Some other players we liked that didn't make this list are James Washington of the Pittsburgh Steelers. If Deontay Johnson misses any time, James Washington might be able to pick up the slack. And if you're really hurting at wide receiver, check out Andy Isabella. He plays for the Arizona Cardinals, and he ended up with a couple touchdowns in week three of the NFL season. Let's take a look at tight ends for week four of the NFL season and the waiver wire report. Okay, here we are looking at tight ends for the weekly waiver wire report for week four of the NFL season. If you want a team that likes to throw the ball to the tight end, it's clearly the Buffalo Bills. Look at these two guys. Tyler Croft had four catches for 24 yards and two touchdowns on five targets, and Lee Smith also caught a touchdown on his only target of the day. The guy that normally plays for the Buffalo Bills at tight end is a guy named Knox. He's, he's hurt, but when he comes back, you may want to consider putting him in your lineup or at least picking him up and putting him on your bench for later in the season. It's clear Buffalo likes throwing the ball to their tight ends. Guys we mentioned last week, like Mo Alley Cox for the Indianapolis Colts had a touchdown, and Harrison Bryan for the Cleveland Browns also caught a touchdown. We told you the kid's a player. He didn't get a lot of targets, but the Browns could be down to this guy at tight end. David Nijuku and, H and Hooper, the, their free agent tight end they signed from Atlanta, both could miss this week's game. So Harrison Bryant may be a sleeper at tight end for week four of the NFL season. And don't forget about Rob Gronkowski. Rob Gronkowski had six catches for 48 yards on seven targets. He didn't get in the end zone, but it's clear they're going to start using him as a target in down there in Tampa Bay. Okay, that's it. Here we are back on our website, fantasyfootballredemptionrehab.com. When you get a chance, check it out. That's it for the waiver wire report. We gave you some great players at running back that you have to take a peek at this week. We gave you some players at wide receiver, tight end, quarterback, and defense that should help you take home a victory this week. I'm Buster Brown. The show is called Redemption Rehab. Good luck.